So, you start a new save in The Sims. Your sim is broke, you don't want to cheat for money. I've, I've got a pen with me today. <laughs> How do you get started? Hi everyone, my name's Chloe, and today I'm going to be showing you my favourite ways to make money quickly in The Sims 4. Let's get started! To get started with painting, you'll want to buy an easel. You can find it in the Hobbies and Skills section in Build and Buy mode. Once you've got your easel, all you need to do is start painting. Painting will cost you money, and the cheapest you can go for is 50 simoleons for a small one to start with. Once you've finished your painting, you will be able to sell to a collector. The higher the painting skill you have, the better quality your paintings will be, and you can sell them for more money. There are some traits that will be beneficial to have when it comes to painting. The creative trait will make your sim more likely to feel inspired when it comes to painting. The art lover trait will allow your sims to admire artwork and become inspired by that. And finally, the perfectionist trait will increase your sim's chances of producing higher quality paintings. The best way to gain skill faster with painting is by trying to get your sim in an inspired mood before they paint. This will also help with the quality of the paintings too. There are also rewards that you can purchase in the reward store to benefit your sim's creative endeavours. The creative visionary reward will increase your sim's chances of producing masterpieces if they are a high level painter. Masterpieces can sell for a few thousand simoleons if you're lucky. Also the marketable trait will allow your sims to sell their artwork for more money. So the next method I want to talk about is collecting. Collecting can be really good because it's so easy to do, you literally just look around your neighbourhood, look for any rocks or plants that might be lying around and normally you can harvest or dig and then suddenly you have something in your inventory that you can sell for money. There are a couple of traits that will help you with the collecting, I'm going to get into that right now. For collecting, ideally your sim would have one of the nature aspects aspirations. This will give you the collector bonus trait, which makes it more likely your sim will find rare items. As for traits, having the loves the outdoors trait is beneficial as your sim will be spending a lot of time outdoors and you want them to enjoy themselves. Around your sim's neighbourhood, look out for little dirt patches that you can dig or plants that are sparkling. If they're sparkling, that means they're ready to be harvested. Once you've found the dirt patches and plants, there should be an option to be able to dig or harvest and then you'll have whatever you found in the dirt or whatever you found on the plant in your inventory. Some worlds will have different collectibles to others. For example, I had to travel to Oasis Springs to find these rocks to dig into. These usually produce fossils or capsules, which when placed in your inventory, you can open them up and find out what's inside. Usually I just spend a couple of in-game hours scouring the whole area, trying to dig up everything I can find. And then once I've covered absolutely everything, then I head home and see what I've got in my inventory. Once you've finished digging, there is a way to sell what you found for even more money. So if you have the Jungle Adventure, City Living or Eco Lifestyle packs, you should have access to this sales table in outdoor activities. The cheapest one is from Jungle Adventure and that's 300 simoleons. And the most expensive being 400 for the City Living and the Eco Lifestyle ones. So it is a little bit of an investment, but you will definitely make your money back. Once you've bought your table, you can transfer all the items into the table from your inventory and start tending the table and start a yard sale. I would recommend marking up the prices to 300%. It's a little bit sneaky, but you will sell your items for a lot more this way. So the next one I'm going to be talking about is the freelancer career and very much like how it works in real life with a freelancer career you can work as little or as much as you want so if you really want to grind and get those simoleons then you can literally start a brand new project as soon as you finish your current one it's very very good. 
You should find the freelancer career under the list of jobs. Once you've selected freelancer, you will get an option to pick a trade. I will be showing off all the options, but we're going to start with writing. Once you've selected your choice of career, you'll have the option to select a gig in your career panel. Most gigs will be locked if your skill level isn't high enough, but do enough jobs and you'll soon work your way up. You will have a time frame to finish this gig and a few tasks to complete. You will have to start by chatting to a client and you'll need your computer to do that. Once you've chatted to your client, you can start on your other tasks that you have to do. Once you've finished writing your book, you can find it in your inventory. You can click on it and send to client for approval. Sometimes if the work is done well and submitted early, you can get a bonus. The freelance programmer career is pretty much the same process as the writer where you can chat to a client first and then you have to jump on the computer to start doing all your tasks. Now for the freelance artist career, you will need a digital sketch pad which you can find in miscellaneous electronics in build by mode. And once you've got your sketch pad, you can get started on your tasks. So like the writer career, you will find it in your inventory and you can send to the client for approval. However, sometimes the client will not be happy with your work and you'll need to do it again. So all you need to do is go back to the sketch pad, edit your rejected content, click the project and then hopefully the second time around the content will get accepted but don't be surprised if you have to do this a few times before your client is happy with the freelance maker career you will need the eco lifestyle expansion pack for this one but you can do many things you can do fabrication you can do candle making juice fizzing you will need to buy the stations that you need to do this work from the build by. So as you can see, I'm putting down the fabrication station here. You will also need bits and pieces to do fabricating, which you can get from the recycling machines around the community lots in Evergreen Harbour. You can recycle most things from your inventory. I'm pretty sure I actually recycled a couple of tombstones to get my bits and pieces here. So literally anything. So once you've chatted to your client, you can start fabricating. You can also purchase dyes to help make different colors of these things that you can create but that is ultimately up to what the client wants. Once you've finished your project, go to the computer, select the freelance option, and there will be an option to submit your project. The process for candle making and fizzing is pretty much the same as fabrication, however for candle making, you will need some wax, which you can purchase from the candle making table. For the fizzing station, you will need fresh ingredients to make juice. Any fruit will do. Veg will get you a suspicious fizz. Flowers will get you kombucha. The next one I'm gonna talk about is gardening. Now I love gardening. Gardening is so reliable for income in The Sims because as long as you've got something in your garden that's growing in season, producing fruits and vegetables and other things, you're always gonna be able to make some money. Now you can produce better quality of crops that will get you more money in The Sims, but I will go into that in a moment. So to start your garden, you can purchase a planter box. So you get these small ones for 50 simoleons, bigger ones for 200, but you don't need these to purchase seeds. You can also purchase seeds from your phone or your computer as well. Once you've purchased your starter seeds, you can find them in your inventory. You can open up the seed packets and drag them either onto the floor or into your planter. Your sim can now start to plant these items and to help your garden have better quality harvestables, I'd advise to use something to fertilize the plants. I had some apples and grapes that I didn't want to plant, so I used those to fertilize my bluebells, They, I think they were, instead. 
Don't forget to also water your plants every day unless you have the season's expansion and then sometimes you get lucky and it rains, but make sure you water them every day so they don't die. Now all you can do is just sit back and wait. Some harvestables take longer than others, but a lot of the time it will normally be between a few sim days to about a week for them to fully grow and produce harvestables. Alongside watering, you will also have to weed and spray your plants for bugs. If you don't do that and you leave them, there is a chance that they will die. And dead plants are no use to us, so try and keep them alive. Once your plants are ready to harvest, you can go ahead and sell them. The higher the gardening skill you have and the better quality your plants are, the more you can make from them. The last way to make money that I'm going to cover today is hobbies. So I'm going to be covering the woodworking table, fishing and music. So your guitars, your pianos, that kind of thing. To find the woodworking table, head to the activities and skills section in the build by catalog. At first, you will be only able to craft smaller items like a knife block. As you improve your handiness skills, you will eventually be able to craft bigger items like furniture. Once you've finished your project, you can find it in your inventory. Bigger pieces like furniture will go into your household inventory in build by mode. If fishing is more your style, then look for fishing spots around your neighbourhood, usually near ponds, lakes, rivers. Click on the wooden post and select go fishing. You might not have much luck at first, but stick with it and your sim will soon be catching lots of fish. Some fish are worth more money than others. Also a bit like the collectibles, different fish will appear in different worlds, so do have a look around and see what you can find. And finally, we have music. If you've bought the guitar or keyboard from the City Living Pack, you can go to any public place, start playing and people will tip you. The higher your guitar or piano skill, the more you will get tipped. So that is all I have for you today. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.